Okay. The room. All right. Let's check this out. Tutorial. Click to begin. I think I do want it a little louder. Alright, click and drag the mouse to look around. Double click on the envelope on top of the safe to focus on it. Bloop. Slide the letter out of the envelope. Do you say envelope or envelope? You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are inside this box, along with something else. Something they say could never be built. It's, it is the only one in existence, and it's the key to incomprehensible power. Incomprehensible power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You are always the smart one. With the enclosed key, I gift you one parting favor. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are as blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you can possibly imagine. And look! Look at this. The key has been stamped to this thing using cherry bubblegum. Perfect. A small brass key with an animal motif. What kind of animal is that? I don't know. Rotate the lid to line up the keyhole. Save keys to open doors. Turn the key. Okay. Open the lid. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. Curious eyepiece. It doesn't do anything. Perhaps something's missing. What does the note say? Feed me, I shall survive. Give me a drink and I shall die. A riddle. The solution must be here somewhere. Okay, we know there. We got that. Books. Some of the dusty old books. I don't think they'll help me here. Oh, I like when they tell you that. I like that. It's like, don't look here, stupid. Talisman. That's a good game. Guaranteed thief and fireproof. All right, we got to feed it or give it a drink. What is this? Can I spin this? Spin the spinner and call the shots. Twister ties you up in a knot. Hey, Tito. Sweet. What's going on? 65. Time to retire and get my tongue-loving, relaxing time. Thank you so much for the 65. What's going on? Welcome. Watch me do puzzles. All right, is there any other things in the room? Without a lens, it's just an ordinary what? Eyepiece. Okay. Sorry, every time I have to change the volume, I have to minimize for a second. All right, feed me. Spider? Can I feed it a spider? There's a spider web. I might be able to unscrew this if I had something to grip it with. Hmm. The plot thins. All right. Hey, Chameleon, what's going on? Feed me, I shall survive. Give me a drink and I shall die.
feed me, I shall survive. Feed fear. You could feed fear. Fire. Give me drink, I should die. Fire. Fire! Can I make fire? These dusty old tomes don't do anything, right? I need to make fire, guys. Water! I don't think that's the answer. Air? That's not the answer either. I need fire! Fire. So, if I never looked at the feet of this thing, I wouldn't have gotten this. This game's gonna kill me because my perception score is negative seven. Alright, fire. Wood feeds it, but water puts it out. I guess I should give it a push. Let's push it. Push it. Push it real good. Alright, we found a key. There's something unusual about this key. I should take a closer look. Oh. Alright. Oh, what? It told me something and then I skipped it. And there's a fly in here. Babe, come kill the giant insect that's hovering around me. I can't do puzzles under insect duress. Yeah. All right, so we can't do anything with these, right? That doesn't push anything. That will also make it entertaining for us. What, my lack of perception? Some people find that hilarious. Other people want to yell at their screen. Oh my God, why doesn't he say it? All right, let's unscrew this. I can grip it with this. No? Maybe not. Then again, maybe not. What's this? This looks weird. Ooh. Uh, I felt shapes in kindergarten. A strangely shaped keyhole. Okay. All right. An ornately, an ornately engraved metal plate. The end looks like it could be used as a wrench. Okay. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy. A lens. It looks like it would fit the eyepiece. Okay. All right. That is trippy. This looks like a pizza with really crazy shaped slices. Still a fly flying around my head. Oh, man. Hey, Chasing Sunsets. Is the music too loud? Thanks for following, by the way. It's too loud? The music, really? I barely hear it. Is that better? Um... Well, this looks like a hint button up here. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna have to lean into that. All right, so we've got the lens. Oh. Huh. 
Okay. Hey, Wrinkle Peach, what's up? Um. Okay, so this, we gotta solve this now. Not a sliding puzzle, but a spinning pose puzzle. All right, we'll start with the outside. We want, that looks like it lines up on the outside. That looks pretty good. What are you doing? Don't do that. How do I spin the center? Oh, maybe I have to rotate it for the center. Ah, start with the inside. Opposite strategy. I guess like that? There we go. What's in here? Well, well, let's take it out for a closer look. Okay. Chapter complete. Pleasing progress. But do you really think you have proven yourself yet? No, not really. No. The touch controls for this on the iPad are the best 8-bit? Oh, nice. Now, was that my monitor being dirty, or was there motes of dust in the air? I'm not sure. These three seals stand between me and the contents of this box. It's locked up tight. There must be a way to get to it. Okay. All right, here's the eye puzzle. Yeah, I know, it's so dirty. So anybody here never played this before? That, that's a bad sentence structure, but you know what I mean. Anybody else a noob like me? If you are watching today and it seems super interesting, check it out on Steam or the, the Nintendo Switch shop. They're like a couple bucks. They're so deeply discounted right now. Okay, so there's an eyeball there. What else? What else we got? Interesting. It's a bunch of numbers. Seven. Oh, look. You can kind of put some of the numbers together. That looks like two and a seven. Found a book. Are they at sale in the app store too? Um, my my handy dandy little sheet sheet of room here says the room of the room two will be eighty five percent off in the UK Nintendo eShop and eighty percent off in the US from September first until the twenty second. All the room titles will be discounted up to ninety percent off on Steam until the fourteenth, and up to seventy five percent off on Google Play Store from September first until the eighth. Fireproof Games is the most highly rated developer to have published on Apple, Steam, and Meta. There we go. My little sheet of root. Yeah, sheet of root 5000. Exactly. Oh, you finally watched it, Valeroka? Okay. Yeah, it was really good, right? I'm glad you liked it. An ancient leather bound book. The cover seems very ornate. Okay, so the cover can give us secrets. I hope the game actually does not have intricate sliding puzzles after I said I wasn't afraid of them earlier. February 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace with these barbaric instruments. I can barely read anything at all, but there is something there. Between earth and fire, between water and air, 
I cannot see it, but I can see its presence, like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that which casts it. Bless you. It is the final element, null. It begins meaning, it, it brings meaning to the rest, just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. Ah, that's a, that's a, a hint for the um, number puzzle on the back. The circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of callow gold. It is the pursuit of this. One slash seven. And I get a little windy thing. All right. I'm going to take this. Let's go back here. These numbers are nothing without their zero, it said. Yeah, that didn't help. We made a zero on top there? Eh, I don't know. Alright, well. What can we wind up? Hmm. Yeah. 39 cents, 79 cents, and 99 cents on Apple App Store for the iPad? Oh, nice. Awesome. Dude, Prophet, you've bought these games like three times now. Totally worth it. All right, what else can we get? I got to find something to wind up. How about this? No? I said wine, damn it. No? A, pl a plate with a cog symbol on it. It doesn't seem to move. A circular indentation. It seems to connect to the mechanism inside. That's why I want to wind it. There's a star up here. A star-shaped indentation. Can you solve all these puzzles for me, babe? Uh, yeah, you put the thing in the thing, and then you turn the thing, and then you lift it upside down, and then there it is. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh. A plate with an eye symbol on it. It doesn't seem to move. Hmm. Yeah. Um... Do you ever need to go outside of the contraption? Like, I don't have to, like, click on the spider web up here, do I? I just focus on the contraption? But what about that other thing? Oh, I don't know about that thing. Not in this game. Okay. That's helpful. All right, so there's numbers here. We need the combination. We have a hint about the combination. Oh, we also have this. What is this? Symbols. These look like the enemies in Centipede. That's the combo. I just guessed it. What? Looks like a miniature telescope. Oh no. Okay. All right. Simon Cowell. Work. Work it harder, make it better, do it faster. Fool of a took! Look! Cook! Aook! Okay.
All right, well, we have this symbol here. I'm going to have to take notes. I like notes. Anybody else like having a notebook for games? All right, so we've got this, like... I don't even know what to call it. It looks like a targeting reticle. All right, we got that symbol. And... What else we got? I saw another one. Over here. This is number four. All right, this looks like a boat. A boat. Um, we need two more. Or we can brute force it. Can we brute force it with two? Maybe. Okay. Is it just gonna tell me when it's right? Or do I actually have to click somewhere else? Damn you. Damn you. Why figure it out when you can just root for us? Hey! Skills to pay the bills! A heavy cast iron key. Alright. I disappointed Cuddly Shark. In so many ways just then. So much disappointment. Hey! I had the wherewithal to find the two symbols and understand what they meant. I just was smart about it, you know? Alright, what can we do with that? I don't know. I don't know what that solves. What does that do? Can I stick... I can't stick it in there. <laughs> Cuddly Shark, I'm appalled. I am a gog. I am a ghast. I don't even know what to do with this now. So it was a small win. It was a small win. I still don't have a word. I still don't know what number. Um. What can I do with this telescopey thing? Look. I look at you. I have key. More keys. Find you up. No? Alright, what's this? This one needs the combo. I don't have the numbers. Why right, we got a heartbeat? Okay, so we know where where was that book? The book that was sticking out of the Can you reread things? There's gotta be a way to reread things, yeah? That's gonna give me a hint, right? I don't want a hint. How do you reread? Oh, here is the third symbol, by the way. See, I found three of the four symbols the real way now. That book said something about... Um, that numbers are nothing without their zero. Which made me believe that the number zero was super important. If you can't reread it, it's no longer relevant? Oh, yeah? I thought that was giving me a secret about this. All right, so let's see. What numbers can we find? Seven. Five, seven. Two. Two is clearly here, right? Five is clear.
Is that three on the top there? I don't think so. Not really, right? It's kind of three. It's only like three-ish. It's three adjacent. Um. Five. The only, the only numbers I'm confident in are 5, 2, and 7. What can we do with that? And 5 was over here. And 7 was over here. So there's got to be a number on the bottom. And yeah, I can try to brute force it. But I don't want to get Cuddly Shark upset. What's the number on the bottom? I feel like the angle is weird on this. I can't go lower than that. It won't, it doesn't go. You know what I mean? Maybe three? Kind of, th all right. Kind of three? Hey, this one doesn't change. Oh, here we go. Five, two, seven, three? No. Four? Five? Six? It's six! We got it, everybody! And give me this thing that I won't have any idea what to do with it. Okay, I stick this here. I look in this. There's nothing to see until I've got this contraption working. What do you mean? I got it working. It smells like what? It smells of burning. It's a lighter. Okay. Yeah, first try. First try. X. X here. Oh, okay. Spark. We have to add something to that first? We gotta turn that spark into a flame. So let me spell out my name. I am the A-L-E-X-A-N-D. We are, we are meant to be a colony. Um, okay. What's this? February 11th, my research continues at a snail's pace with these, oh, we, this is the note we found before. I can barely read anything at all, but there is something there between earth and fire. Sorry, I just noticed my music was slightly playing in the background. Uh, there was something between earth and fire, between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of an object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form in which casts it. It's the final element, null. It brings meaning to the rest, just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. The circle are pretty fools, blinded by the dark arts of the creed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of Caligol, but it's the pursuit of this. All right, I don't know how that helps me. Ooh, but this is an interesting symbol. A-S? A-S. I don't know if they are the final two letters. Well, I can't do A-S here. Can I do A-S here?
Is there an A on any of these? I mean, an S on any of these? No? 